Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today we're going to be hopping into our very first clan war inside of Clash Royale. And inside of this video, I'm going to be giving you guys every single thing you need to know about the new update. That's right, Clan Wars is finally here. It just came out 30 minutes ago, if you look at the top left hand corner. Uh, basically, I ended up getting into my very first battle, which was super fun. My camera ended up exploding, as it always seems to do, guys. But inside of this video today, I'm going to show you guys all the different things about Clan Wars, and let's go and hop into it right now. Now, before I even start, uh, it's been really well received so far, which I'm super excited about. And also, inside of News Royale, I highly re recommend, recommend you guys check out the This Is How Clan Wars Works post. Basically, this lets you know exactly how Clan Wars works. I'm going to throw a link in the description below. Uh, but I want to run through this for you guys. It can definitely be confusing at first glance if you don't understand exactly what's going on. And, you know, with Clan Wars being a two-day process, obviously, you won't be able to experience every single thing right away. But let's go and go through this right now. Then we're going to get into a Clan War battle, and I'm going to throw in some nuggets along the way that aren't necessarily mentioned inside of a uh, inside of this all right so clan wars is a two-day event for your whole clan battle with your clan for glory and rewards against other clans around the world very cool basically inside of clan wars actually you're going to be going up with against four different clans when it comes to the war day which is really interesting i'll tell you guys more about that in a second but it isn't 1v1 which is actually pretty fascinating but let's go and start this off so to start off clan wars obviously you need an active clan a minimum of 10 members is required to go to clan wars you also do have to be a level eight uh, and keep in mind that clan wars is started by a leader or a co-leader very easy to start a clan war basically you're just going to be clicking the start war button and, and you're uh, good to go also keep in mind that tournament standard does not apply inside of clan wars which is very interesting but you'll see more in a second why it's not as big of a deal but it still does play a factor um, but yeah once the clan war started up you're going to see this map below and inside of this map you're going to see three different game modes that end up revolving out as soon as they're played and this is going to be known as collection day so inside of collection day what you're going to be doing is collecting clan cards for your clan that might seem a little confusing right now but we're going to go through that in a second basically on collection day you get three battles and the goal is to collect as many clan cards as possible on the map you're going to find these various game modes like i said that cycle out as soon as they're played and basically battling on any game modes earns clan cards but wins earn you the most so i won my very first battle and i ended up getting like 100 clan cards for my clan and uh, basically the higher your arena the more clan cards you can end up earning so since i'm you know uh like around five thousand something trophies i earn a bunch of clan cards if you guys are in arena one at a level eight something's wrong with you um but no you wouldn't earn that many cards so keep that in mind and basically you're going to build different decks to suit the modes do whatever you want to do you have access to all the cards that you want and when collection day ends the uh, war day begins so here's all the different modes right here i played double elixir obviously there's a draft there's 2v2 so keep that in mind when you guys are checking out different modes you're going to use your three battles again you've got one day to use your three battles and use your three battles basically you're going to get cards for your clan um, that are going to end up dictating the next day which is when you really go to war so keep that in mind you want to get clan cards and you want to build those up for your clan it's very important to get those clan cards guys and check this out right here so look you've got your clan cards these what i mean is that the clan cards that you get um, these are what you're going to build your deck with for your war day. So all together in your clan, let's say if you have 30 cards total, by the way, you can only get an up to 40 different cards for your clan uh, cards. So it's going to be, you know, you're going to have to build a new deck every single time for clan wars. Basically, you're going to have to choose with the cards that you got during the preparation day and build your deck for war day. So this is going to lead to crazy stuff. Let's say you can get a maximum of 40 clan cards to choose, to make your deck from. That means that you might not have poison, zap, arrows, log. You might not have a ton of cards, and you're going to always have to create a new deck for clan wars. And keep in mind, there's only one attack on war day. So hopefully I didn't lose you. Preparation day, three attacks. You're going to, when you do those three attacks, you're going to earn your clan clan cards, uh, which you end up using to build your deck for war day. So attack on preparation day, uh, go ahead and get your clan cards build your deck for war day go to war win your war all right let's go to war day right now hopefully that makes sense to you guys so when building your war deck basically you have one battle on war day your only goal is to win this battle and everyone in your clan battles with the same clan cards on war day so keep like just like i said those clan cards are what you use to build your deck so you build it your war you build your war deck with clan cards and you share it to your clan or you and you can share it to your clan or copy a deck from your clan's best deck builder so if you guys saw the update notes which i'll go over in a second basically you can actually copy and paste uh decks inside of your clan chat now which is really cool so you guys will all be operating from the same card pool let's say you know you guys have like 50 
15 cards like Hidden Tesla, Rage, Log, Arrow. Someone can make a really good deck using those cards if that's possible and copy and paste it into the chat for everyone to use. Uh, so keep that in mind. Now, also, clan card levels cannot be higher than your own card levels. Upgrade your own cards to use higher level clan cards. Okay, so this is interesting. And I'm gonna touch more on this in a second after I do my first battle because you guys can actually see the levels of the cards. But basically, um, since I'm a level 13, and I fully maxed out cards, whatever level the clan cards are, you know, I can actually end up using those cards. But if you're, let's say you have a level four Royal Giant and then inside of the clan cards, it's like a level seven Royal Giant, you're still only gonna be able to use that level four Royal Giant. That doesn't make sense probably to you right now, but after you finish up your first battle and you see what the clan cards look like, it will make a lot more sense. And um, yeah, basically you can cheer on your clan mates when they play their final battle. You guys wanna make sure you, you win uh, on war day. And then basically clan trophies indicate your success during clan wars. And obviously that, you know, go, depends on how you do. So you can see right here, Double Dragon got first place. They ended up getting six clan trophies. Golden Dragon got second place, six clan trophies. Third and fourth place got five trophies and fifth place got zero trophies. So clan trophies obviously are super good and they help you progress through different clan leagues. So there's bronze league, silver league, etc., etc. And basically the higher up your clan is in the league, the better rewards you get at the end of the season. So at the end of the season, you're gonna get a war chest. That's where you get all your rewards. You get a massive chest filled with a ton of cards and goodies, uh, which is everyone is obviously so excited about. So keep in mind a clan war is two days. A clan war season is 14 days. So you can do up to seven wars during that period, I suppose. Man, my cat's going ham on the microphone right now. Um, and your war chest is based on your clan league obviously and the highest ranked war you participated in so if your clan gets up to like silver one but you only participated in a clan war at bronze five you're only going to get bronze five level reward so keep that in mind uh, when you're doing this and then obviously achieve a, a better rank or a higher league to earn a bigger chest inside of clan wars grind as hard as possible to make sure you can get a you know your biggest win possible and that is going to do it for clan wars guys that was the basic overview of clan wars now obviously not everything might fall into place right now uh, as far as what you've got going on. So keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, let's just go ahead and go hard in the paint right now. See if we can pick up a victory. I'm gonna go ahead and throw down with draft mode right now. So obviously since my teammates are playing um, inside of, uh, I think this is double elixir 2v2. I'm not able to play, by the way, guys, you can now emote as a spectator, which is crazy. And actually before we get into this battle real quick, I wanted to show you guys the last, there are a couple of other balancing notes that I wanted to tell you about. Um, so let's go ahead and go to the Clan Wars update. So if you scroll down to the bottom, emotes now, you can now permanently mute emotes. Spectators can now emote, which I just showed you guys. Players that leave 2v2 matches early do have to wait before playing again. That's actually pretty interesting stuff. So keep in mind, if you guys quit out on a teammate, uh, it might not work that well in your favor. Now, during a 2v2 battle, if you click someone's name, it'll permanently show their cards. No longer do you have to hold down a teammate's name to see their cards. You just click it once and you're good to go. Um, you can end up sharing your battle deck to your clan, like I mentioned earlier. You can sort your card collection by rarity descending. Guys, if you don't sort your cards by elixir, you're a psychopath anyways. But you guys can debate me in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, a couple of things about shop that really aren't that important. But anyways, en enough messing around, guys. Let's go ahead and get into our draft battle right now and see if we can take out our opponent. Now, keep in mind, on the uh, on the collection day, you actually end up having cards at tournament or not at tournament standard. So I'm a level 13. I can match up with someone, you know, who's uh, nowhere near my ranking and end up smashing them. So keep that in mind. Hopefully we can find someone good though. Guys, look at this new battle screen right here. I was a little disappointed. I thought they'd have a new icon for Clan Wars for like when you download the app as well as a new loading screen, but beggars can't be choosers, guys. It's all good in the hood. Let's wait for this one to pop up right now. And hey, we got tips on the very bottom. On War Day, all battles are played using the clan card. Oh, okay. Well, there go our tips, guys. All right, let's go ahead and get into it right now. We're going to be going off against Pop. Wait, this one's actually played at tournament standard, which is sort of interesting. Okay. I guess since it's draft mode, draft mode's played at tournament standard. Um, last one I played, I was level 13. Okay, that sort of blew my mind right there. Anyways, uh, Graveyard and Giant. I'm going to do Giant, but this feels a little sketchy. Um, I've got Balloon Sparky. Wow, I'm going to go ahead and do Balloon. I don't like this at all, guys. This feels really bad for me, actually. All right, well, let's go ahead and do this against Pop right now. I'm a little bit scared that we're about to get served. And uh, now we're going to get emotes going crazy in the distance. So we do have Giant Balloon, but he has Archers and he has uh, Sparky. So this might not be too fun. All right, Spear Goblin's going to go down. Let's see if we can pick up this win, guys. Uh, he has got Archers going down right now. Ice Golem coming in. We'll go ahead and get our Ice Wizard going down this lane to really start things off. We've got 50 damage so far. Hopefully that means that we're winning. No, I don't really think that's that means that we're winning, guys. Now we've got a graveyard going down the lane, and I think we lose. I think we're in a lot of trouble right now. Dark Prince going to go in. This is uh, not very good for us. Princess did end up killing a couple of skeletons, which is nice, but wasn't really what we wanted. I'm going to go for Balloon right now and see what our opponent's going to do. He's got Bandit. Bandit will lock on to the Dark 
I was hoping for a chief pad on that balloon right there, but it looks like he's going to be able to connect. All right, so far, really bad, guys. He's got Rocket for our balloon. He's got, uh, what is it? He's got uh, Sparky for our giant. This game is just not looking very fun for us, but I do have a lightning spell, so I guess I can use that against the Sparky. However, um, it doesn't end up killing the Sparky, so we got to keep that in mind. All right, let's go ahead and get... I'm going to do a giant in the back, but this doesn't feel very fun because Sparky's going to go down. I have to find a way to kill the Sparky, whether it's using my princess to damage the Sparky and then a lightning spell to kill it afterwards. We're going to have to find something that works. Let's go ahead and get our um, princess ready right now. See if we can do something. All right, that's going to go ahead and run forward. I'm going to go ahead and lightning right now. Nope, not going to get anything out of that, but Princess is going to start shooting this down, and we're going to splash that tower right there. That's actually super good. Check out one more Princess shot. Oh, I don't think it's going to be able to work. Uh, I guess we're going to be able to kill this, though, which will be nice. All right, we ended up killing the Sparky, which is good. And now we do need to keep in mind that we need our um, Ice Wizard to kill this graveyard. So there goes the Ice Wizard. Here goes our Dark Prince. Here goes our Spear Goblins. This should be an okay defense guy. Guys, very still sketched about how this went down. But fortunately, the Ice Wizard is going to do a really awesome job for us. Spear Goblin is going to run in forward. Oh, that Dark Prince, man, I hate that interaction. It really, really is uh, not very fun. Let's go ahead and get um. Let's go and get our balloon down again. Actually, I'm just going to go hard with the balloon right now. He's going to have to rocket this. And uh, oh, he's actually going to go ahead and play Tesla. Maybe we can lightning this. Oh, we actually ended up lightning that guy. Balloon's going to be heading right towards the tower. One more hit. Oh, look at the damage. It's glorious. Here goes our Ice Wizard. We're going to have to play our Dark Prince right here. Dark Prince is going to go in. Guys, this is a tense battle. I do not want to lose my very first Clan Wars battle for you guys uh, in embarrassing fashion. Tombstone going in also. Hopefully that ends up killing everything we need. That's actually going to work beautifully, guys. I've got my Princess going in down this lane. Princess is going to put in some work. He needs a miracle right now. He's got his archers coming in. I've got my Ice Wizard. My teammates are emoting like savages. Dark Prince going to go in on the top. Rocket's going to go down. I don't think that's going to be enough, my good sir. Here goes everything he has. Tombstone going in. Skeletons going in. I'm going to just lightning this down because I'm an animal. And that's going to be the end of this game, guys. I think that's GG well played for a clean yet sketchy victory. Well played to our opponent right there, but that's going to give us the dub. Woo! That got a little bit scary. All right, so with this, we're going to get a clan card's chest. And these clan cards are going to end up going straight into our clan's blood vein. So check this out. We're going to get zapped. So check out my zap. The zaps are level 8 right now. As our team plays inside of the war day, or inside of the collection day, we're going to end up leveling up our zap. We're going to go ahead and level up our archers. My cat is going crazy over there. We're going to go ahead and get our royal giant, our musketeer, Pekka, and all of these are going to fill up our clan cards. So these are the cards that we have to choose from from war day right now that we can actually end up using. So as of right now, we would do some sort of Pekka graveyard deck, I guess, with fireball zap, baby dragon, maybe a hog rider deck actually hog goblin gang archers zap fireball something like that but um yeah keep that in mind guys as we get ready for war day and that's what i'm talking about so if the royal giant in our clan cards is level eight and since my royal giant is level 13 on my maxed out account once it comes to war day i would pl play a level eight royal giant now if someone in our clan had a level six royal giant right now and our clan royal giant was level eight they would still play a level six royal giant so keep that in mind and that's why card levels end up playing inside of clan wars but yeah that was it right there check out all those cards we got for our clan right there very nice very nice we're going to keep on stockpiling the clan cards and you can see who's really pitching in cards right here i've given 340 already just because i'm a higher level um but yeah that's going to do it for Clan Wars, a basic overview inside of this video. Hopefully this helped you guys out. That battle was a little bit sketchy, but we ended up getting the win, which is all that matters. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about the Clan War update in the comment section below. I'm really digging it so far. I think that it's perfect that they didn't end up making it um, too much. Like having only three battles, I think is probably a good thing right now. Similar to how Clash of Clans, Clan Wars did last two days and it was only two attacks, but it actually ended up being perfectly in the grand scheme of things. So I'm excited to go to War Day tomorrow, excited to show you guys some more Clan War action, and that's going to do it for this video. Let me know your honest opinions in the comments section i would love to hear it as well as you guys can hit me up on twitter at chief pat hope you guys enjoyed until next time i will see you guys later peace out